Hello friends, welcome to our channel Neturaj and here we will take you through Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2020 tutorial. For ease of understanding, we have divided this tutorial into small lessons. Friends, if you have still not subscribed to our channel, please click the subscribe button below to know more about our tutorial videos. So let's start with a new project file new project and you can browse the directory here whichever directory you want select folder and you have to give a name to your project here so let me give lesson one and then time code HDV or DV capture format so we will not change this here at the moment press OK and your project is created but I already created this project so I'll put cancel file and open a recent project so this I have already created so I will open this when you open a new project your home screen should look something like this we can modify it as well so you go to windows then at the top you have workspace and by clicking this you will see all the panels that are available you can even customize your workspace here so the main panels that you require are an overview panel here you will import your media files then a source panel where your imported media is played then a timeline timeline is a part where you play with your imported medias cut edit slow give effects to them so you do it on timeline and effects control panel which is here this one and then whatever you have edited it will be displayed in your program screen so you need at least this four basic panels so now let's run this tutorial on the go by importing our first media files to import a file simply double click here or you can even click file and then import these are the two ways with which you can import a file then go to the folder where your file is and then just simply click to import the file the file is imported now let's double click this file and you see it's opened in the source window now here you can play the file Suppose I want only this car moving. Uh, you see this car here. Suppose I want this car moving only this part of the video in my timeline. So I'll start from this car's location and then I will drag this. Okay. The car is here and I want only this much footage. So I'll again mark it here the hotkeys you can see is i and o and then this part i will drag and drop on the timeline so now here you can see only this car moving is here and the clip has ended so similarly if you want some other part of the clip now car has gone now i want this second car traveling again so i'll start from here again i mark it as i and the car moving till this point i get o and then again drag it here in the second sequence so you can place it here 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 anywhere so i'll align it with the first sequence so wherever my first sequence ends my second sequence begins and okay it's done 
you can even delete this audio and place different audio if you want to delete audio you have to simply if you press delete button here now both this video and audio will be deleted but only to delete video or audio you need to lock it so if I want to delete audio I will lock the video file so now my video file is locked now I can delete the audio by delete uh, by pressing the delete button see audio is deleted control set similarly if I want to delete only video then I will lock the audio and delete the video Set. and if you want to delete both the things then just select it no locking key and then delete control Z so now if you run this part run this video you can see the other panel is effects control panel so go to effects control panel and then click any of the file so this so now you are seeing effects for this clip particularly this much part of the clip so you can arrange the position of the window of the video by this this is horizontal positioning this is vertical positioning you can scale it as you want you can even give this as effects so I will show you it uh, for the effects I will show you in further videos how to give effects and then you can even rotate your video sometimes the video is taken 180 degrees apart or horizontal vertical so you can arrange your video by rotating here you can simply click this reset parameter so that your video is aligned to your previous position then this is mask I will show this in further videos so the next important panel is this effects control panel from here you can give effects to your videos like video transaction effect audio transaction effect so these are basic windows and basic editing in Premiere Pro the other important thing is sequence setting so if you go to sequence setting you can customize what sort of frame you want I generally do my videos for YouTube so I keep YouTube HD as a standard so 1920 cross 1080 you can change the frame size here if you want 720p you can put the corresponding frame sizes here so frame size I generally use 30 FPS and then OK Friends, if you have still not subscribed to our channel, please click the subscribe button below to know more about our tutorial videos.